so today I'm coming at you from the front of my closet which is this little door right here I'm gonna show you the inside of my very interesting closet because it's a small closet I share it with my fiance and it's not the biggest but it has a lot of vertical space so I'm gonna show you how I used my vertical space so I absolutely love spring cleaning so I think I'm gonna make like a mini series on my channel because I do have to get rid of a lot of makeup that I don't use as well so that's probably gonna be in another video but in today's video I'm gonna tackle my closet and I'm gonna do my round of spring cleaning for clothes this year I I do this every single year I get rid of clothes that I do not use or I sell clothes that have more like sentimental value to me or that I spent more money on or brands that I really love that I think deserve a very very good home so I'm gonna be making a donate pile and a sell pile and all of the things that I'm gonna sell I'm gonna show you guys in this video and I'm gonna be using an app called Poshmark and this video is actually in collaboration with Poshmark and if you guys don't know what Poshmark is it's just an app where you can either buy or sell clothes and and if you guys saw my spring haul that I recently did, you would know that I purchased my little tortoise shell cat eye glasses on there. So I've used the app before as a customer and I had a very, very, very good experience. So that's why I want to use it to sell my clothes. They have so many different brands from Nike to Givenchy to Louis Vuitton, Mango, Zara, anything you can think of, you can probably find there. So I already have a closet on there. I'm gonna be putting all of the clothes that I talk about in this video and I'm gonna leave the link to my closet down below as well as a link to download the app. If you guys want to sell clothes or buy clothes yourself, you can go down in the description and click the link and make your own account. So if you do, let me know your closet handles in the comments below because I would love to know what you guys are selling. So yeah, if you guys are interested, just keep watching. So when you walk in, this is what you see. So it's a very, very narrow space, but it has a lot of vertical space. So I actually do have a ladder right here because this is my side and it goes up all the way. And I have our suitcases up there. This is my fiance's suitcase. And this is his side, even though I've invaded a little bit of his space over there. But we're gonna try to organize all this a little bit more. It is not at its best right now. I mean, for being such a tight space, I think I did a pretty good job at like compartmentalizing everything like I have some of my shoes over here these are like little basket um, drawers where I have my pajamas and these are my knitwear and up here I have like these this is all of my denim shorts in here my beach bag and all of this I kind of like change depending on the season like I'll put my fall clothes up here and then I'll bring my spring clothes down here and then I have like my most worn denim here, which we gotta organize this cause it's looking a hot mess. And I have more of my denim back here. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. By the way, I got all of this like closet system in Ikea. I know it's hard to see it right now, but it's like the perforated one. I'm gonna leave like all of those details in the description. We're just gonna focus on organizing and getting rid of things that I don't use on this section. And I forgot to show you guys, this is where I keep all of my dresses. And I have all of my little velvet like uh, huggable hangers here, which are the absolute best in my opinion for tight spaces. Um, they save a lot of space. You can just fit so much in such a small area so i have all of my dresses here or like all of my longer like uh clothing items like jumpsuits and stuff like that so i know that i have to get rid of a lot of stuff here so yeah what else do we have here um up here i just have more purses and then we have my shoes again which i'm gonna get rid of some that i don't use and I have like my sneakers down here. I know it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm just gonna make the donate and the sell pile on my bed. As I take things out of the closet, I'm probably gonna show you everything that I'm taking out and then later on I'll decide if I wanna sell it or if I wanna donate it. But yeah, let's, let's get to the... Let's get to the process, shall we? So in this little half right here, I have all of my tops. So I'm gonna go through this section first and then 
this section, this section, and then I'm gonna move up to all of the stuff that I have up there. So I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. It's a very tight space, so it's not like I can bring you in here, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it. So the first thing that I think I'm going to sell that I've been meaning to sell for a long time is this top right here, and this is for Love and Lemons, and it is a very, very beautiful top, and it's very good quality. It's just, I don't, I don't wear it a lot, so yeah, this is gonna go in my selling pile. Next is this right here, and this was actually gifted to me by Zafu, and all of the things that were gifted to me, it's just not fair for me to sell it, so this is gonna go in the donating pile. And this, I really love the material of this top, it's a Silence in the Noise from Urban Outfitters, which is one of my favorite brands from Urban Outfitters. I absolutely love their tops. It's just that this one is really, really long. It's like almost a dress kind of, but I'm too tall for it to be a dress. So I just don't find myself wearing it. So this shirt right here is an Everlane shirt and I can probably style this in like a cute way. Uh, I can like tie it in the front or something like kind of like make it cropped with like high-waisted pants but i don't know i just i've had it for so long and i've never worn it so yeah i might just sell this one so i have a v-neck right here that i just don't wear because i don't really wear v-necks that much anymore and this one is very 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 plunged so i am going to donate this one I have this little crop top that's from Misguided and it has like a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a cutout right here. So I'm probably going to sell this top because honestly I think I've only worn it one single time. So yeah. This tank top is from Madewell and it's just too like long here so I can't really wear a bra with it, but it's too see-through for me not to wear a bra, so I'm gonna get rid of this tank top. I think I'm done with this like shirt section. Now I'm gonna move down to, I'm not gonna touch my pajamas because uh, that's just a whole, a whole nother video. I, I want to just take a day and dedicate it to pretty pajama shopping because I probably have the world's ugliest loungewear ever so um yeah i'm not gonna touch that because i'm just gonna wait till i can just throw it out literally dump the entire basket out and buy like cute loungewear or like pajamas because i don't know some of those things i've had for years and they're just not cute so i'm gonna go into my knit drawer and for some reason i live in miami so it's very very hot and humid here like year round but i love knits so much so knits are like one of the hardest things for me to get rid of because I don't know, I just really love them. So we're gonna tackle this little drawer right here. This is from Target and it's a very, very basic, pretty cute knit, but I already have like seven other beige ones. So I'm gonna get rid of this one right here. That's it, that's all we got. <laughs> I'm telling you, I really hate getting rid of knits. When I moved, I did get rid of the majority of my knits, so I think I have like a pretty decently small collection, so. Moving on to this section right here, which is all of my dresses and like longer things. So I have this little romper, which is actually super cute, it's from uh, Faithful, the brand, which is one of my favorite like spring and summer brands, but um, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I'm just not using it that much and the stripes are blue and I don't know, I don't really gravitate towards blue that much, but it is a very, 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 very beautiful romper. This dress is from Urban Outfitters and it still has the price tag on it. This was $69 and I just know that I'm not gonna wear it. So I think it needs like a good home. I don't know, I don't really gravitate towards it that much. So 
yeah this is gonna go into my cell pile this little guy has been with me for i want to say like three years or so i absolutely love this brand this is by reformation but i just i can't bring myself to wear this like every time i try to wear it i just can't find anything to wear it with or anything to wear it to and i don't know i do really love the print but i've never worn this at all it doesn't have the tag on it because i tried it on but i've never worn this out so it's just a romper it's not a dress it's a romper Okay, so I have a couple of things here that I don't know what I want to do with it. This romper right here, I really do love it. It's very beautiful. I just don't find myself wearing it that often. And I think it deserves a better home. So this is going to go into the cell pile. This is from Zara. And it is a size medium. This is also going to the cell pile. It's like a suede Madewell like gray bluish dress this little dress by zara i wore it to death but i'm not like that into the ruffle sleeves at the moment so i'm gonna get rid of these two skirts they're both like high-waisted midi skirts and one of them is like this velvety green color it looks like this and i just never wear it they're both from misguided i think and then this one is just like a ribbed green skirt olive green this one looks like this so this forever 21 trench coat is very very beautiful it's just that i have like three beige trench coats already but it looks like this kind of has like the waterfall uh detail in the front it cuffs at the arms it has like a little button detail and then the back has like the trench thing Okay, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see or not, but this is the top section right now. I just kind of put all my jackets up here. They were down here, like all mixed up in these clothes. So these are all of like my long sleeve tops that I don't really wear for spring. So I have them here and then I moved all of like my jackets up here. And then I have like extra little sweaters here i have my hats both of my hats here my beach bag my jean shorts above my jean shorts i have two bags which have a bunch of bags in them very good kind of like space saving tip just put your bags in your bigger bags <laughs> and these are all of the kind of like short sleeve tops or like spring and summer stuff here and then all this is everything that i took out from up here um that i have to sort into either my donate or selling pile so this is kind of like a lot of stuff if you guys saw my recent favorite jeans video this is where i usually keep them the rest are somewhere down there Okay, so for shoes, these are all of the ones that I am going to either donate or sell. Okay, so this is my current situation. Right now, this is all that I have to uh, sell. And this is donate, and then this is sort through to either sell or donate. So I'm gonna do that, and then the shoes are over there. This, I don't know, I kind of wanna 
put it up on Poshmark because it's just so soft and the material is really really good it's from urban outfitters this is a medium i think and it's the most comfortable sweater ever so this jacket is from j crew i think i've had it for like three years and i still have the price tag on it this is a size eight it feels so luxurious it's a beautiful beautiful jacket but i just never ever wear it like at all <laughs> so I'm probably gonna put this on Poshmark. I also have this knit, which is just like a knit vest or like a sleeveless knit that I never, I don't really wear that much anymore. And I also have one in like this camel color and it's pretty long as well. And this one has a turtleneck. This tank is also from For Love and Lemons, but the problem with this is that it's see-through. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna put this up. If I do, you guys will see it on Poshmark. If I don't, then I decided to keep it. This, which is also another knit sweater. This one's from Madewell. Very, very good quality. Like it feels heavy, it feels really good, and it's like a beautiful beige, color and then this dress is really cute it's just black horizontal stripes and it has pockets i don't know if you guys can see and it's from h&m and i think i'm also gonna put it up i don't know if i mentioned this one or not but this is just a cashmere it's 100 percent cashmere from zara for shoes i don't know if i'm going to donate or put these up on Poshmark because even though they are pretty new the bottom is a little bit beat up so I don't know if I can even put these up on there but they are very 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 beautiful shoes I just don't find myself wearing them that much anymore these are a little bit better on the bottom and the top part is almost perfect. These are from Madewell and they're also like very, very pretty spring and summer flats. So, so far this is my donating pile and this is my to sell pile. Okay, so this is the closet now and I haven't touched my fiance's side of the closet because that's a whole different video. He's a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to certain things, but this is what we have on my side so I have fixed the sandals down here a little bit we have these two drawers which are my knits and my pajamas I didn't really get rid of many knits but it's okay <laughs> so we have my tops up here like spring or summer stuff aside from what I have over here which this is like all of my newer stuff or stuff that I have to like take pictures of and things like that stuff that I wear a lot more frequently so yeah this section looks pretty much the same um, and then I fixed this section up here which you guys saw I put like all of my jackets and stuff and over here I have like more knits or like cardigans or something my beach bag my hats are right here and my jeans well the ones that i wear the most often then i have like my long sleeve or winter tops over here then over here i have my dresses and like longer like jumpsuits and stuff i have a lot of them i but i did get rid of a lot of stuff too so yeah and over here which you guys can't really see is more of my these are like my skirts and the rest of my jeans. And down here, I just have all of my sneakers and they go all the way down here. So I have to figure out like a better way to like organize that because I hate having stuff on the floor. That's why I bought this huge thing. This is by Ikea. This is meant to be a bookcase, I think but i used it for shoes and it worked out great so i did get rid of some shoes but yeah this is what this is what we're working with right now so one last time
and um, I did buy these little hook things which I have to buy like another one to put like because I have more space to put another one over there for my belt because right now I have them like on top of each other so I do need to make an ikea run so that is pretty much everything for this video that is everything for the decluttering of my side of the closet i know that my closet is not the biggest i know that my closet is not the most organized or the most perfect or luxurious or whatever but it works for me i've managed to condense my clothing collection a lot if you guys saw my last closet tour you would know that i had a very big closet when i lived in my parents house and now i share a closet that's like literally half the size but we're making it work and i kind of like having a smaller space because it makes me really be more conscious of like what i shop for and like what i put in my closet because ultimately it's taking up a lot of space so yeah if you guys are interested in any of the pieces that i put in my selling pile just check out my closet link down below and again i'll also be leaving the link so that you can download the app for free in the description so that's everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video